Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. I make videos for NBA. I make videos for NFL. Um, this NFL video will obviously be for the Denver vs. Kansas City showdown slate that is on Thursday the 12th. Um, but before we get into the breakdown, um, make sure I'm going to leave this down below in the comments. It's a Reddit post called DF, or a Reddit sub called DF Sports. And then I make a post. My username is Shook. Um, the, the reason for these posts is I, I make updates with news that comes out throughout the day and what that really changes for me. It's more useful for basketball, but it does happen in NFL where we will get a lot of news and what it will change for the slate. And then you can ask me questions about the slate in that post and I'll always respond to you. And then if you ever need to get a hold of me privately, you can do so on Twitter right here. Um, someone told me my messages weren't working, so I'll take a look at that after this video. All right, before we go over the um, slate, um, let's take a look at my lineup from last week. Um, and then my Discord will be in the Reddit post as well, where I have player pools for cash tournaments, cores, up to four or five players um, for main slates, three for showdowns, GPPs, cash, videos, a whole bunch of stuff that will be in the Reddit post too. All right, yeah, taking a look at my lineup from Monday Night Football is a good night. Like you guys saw in the Monday Night video, I cashed on Sunday in the main slate, afternoon slate, showed on slate, so it was a really good day. Phenomenal week, cashed on every single slate. I mean, at this point, it's 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 like an everyday thing um, where I'm just cashing in uh, pretty much everything. So I'm um, hope, hoping to continue it tomorrow. Um, as you guys can see, my cash lineup, I went with Adams, Jacobs, Love, Myers, Dylan, Taylor. I don't think I played GPPs, but my GPP core was Adams, Myers, and Jimmy Garoppolo. You guys knew I was extremely high on Myers. He was just way, way too cheap if you watched my video for that Monday Night Football game. So that worked out huge. Um, phenomenal play. Um, rewarding the absolute sharks. So love to see it. All right, let's get into this showdown breakdown for Denver and Kansas City. So, let's go over it. So, you got a really, really nice price tag on Russell Wilson at 9.6K. I like him a lot. I really, really like Russ at this price point. I think it's too cheap. They're projected to play from behind, so they're going to be throwing the ball a ton. They have two extremely talented wide Actually, they have three extremely talented wide receivers in Sutton, Judy, and Marvin Mims that they're just not playing right now, which I just don't understand. But yeah, um, he is too cheap. So Russ, I think, looks really, really good. And then I like Judy and Sutton quite a bit. So the good thing with them is they are not going to leave the field. As you can see here, Judy played 54 of the 63 snaps. Sutton played 54 of the 63 snaps. Now, point per dollar, I do prefer Sutton. Whenever you have, you have two dominant wide receivers on a team that are kind of going to split target market share, um, I always just prefer the guy that is cheaper. Now, if you do have the money for Judy, I prefer him to Sutton if you do have the money. But if you don't, Sutton, I think, is completely reasonable as well. I think both look pretty, pretty good to me. They're going to be throwing the ball a ton in this game. As far as the running backs go, so Julian McLaughlin has looked incredible. He's absolutely, he's a preseason legend. Um, he's looked phenomenal. I, I think, you know, with Javante back, and we know that, the Broncos went out of their way this offseason to bring in Samaj P. Ryan. I think it's going to be kind of like a three-headed split here. Um, I, I think we know, I don't think P. Ryan's role is really going to change much, so he would be my favorite of the group point per dollar. We know he's going to be involved in the passing game, and I don't think he's really going to lose too many snaps. I do think there is a chance that Javante Williams could, could lose a little bit of snaps to Julio McLaughlin with how good McLaughlin has looked um, the past few weeks, so as far as the running back goes, running back, running backs go um, at their price points. I think it's tough to get to Williams McLaughlin. I'm actually okay with P Ryan because we kind of know what his role is going to be. Now, if they're going to be owned at all, I definitely don't want to play him. If Javante is going to be super low owned, then I'm more fine taking shots on these guys. But they don't really stand out as solid plays to me at the respective price points, and I, I think it's kind of going to be a three-headed split. Um, and if we go back a couple weeks ago, like we already saw three running backs getting snaps. You see Jaleel McLaughlin getting snaps here. You see P. Ryan getting snaps here. You see Javante getting snaps here. So it's already been kind of like that and with um, McLaughlin playing a lot better of late. Um, I, I do expect him to get a little bit more snaps in this game up against Kansas City. Um, and with... 
Kansas City projecting to be playing from ahead. Um, I do give the edge to P. Ryan of the bunch of um, running backs, that being Jaleel and Javante. Now, taking a look at the rest of the wide receivers, Marvin Mims, I, I don't understand why he's not playing more. He, he's extremely talented. Um, you have Brandon Johnson playing over him more. Uh, Br Johnson played 32 of the 63 snaps. Marvin Mims only played 20 of the 63 snaps. You have Marvin Mims at 4.6K. It's tough, man. If you want to go with like the narrative street that you think Marvin Mims is going to get his snaps increased this week, he'll probably be really, really low owned. So I definitely do have interest in him in tournaments at his price point because I don't think a lot of people are going to play him. And we've seen ceiling games from him in limited runs. So I do have interest in Mims. I, I just think he's way overpriced for the amount of snaps that he is playing right now can be, you know, the most talented guy in the world. But when you're not getting snaps and you're priced at that price point, it's kind of tough, but um, if he's going to be low-owned, I'm more so inclined to take darts there in large field tournaments due to the upside that he has shown and does have, right? So I'm definitely interested in Mims in large field tournaments. And like I said, if you want to go with the narrative that he does get more snaps this week, then I like him even more. Kickers, you guys know my feelings. They're always going to be pretty good plays. I think um, Lutz is going to be way lower-owned than um, who's Casey's kicker, uh, Butker, obviously. Um, so if you want to go that way, just know, um, a lot of people don't understand this and I feel like I sound like a broken record by now, but kickers do correlate well with their quarterbacks. If your quarterback is scoring points, your kicker is also going to be scoring points. A lot of people don't seem to understand that. So if you want to go with, you know, if you're playing Russ and fading Mahomes, maybe you go with Lutz. If you're playing Mahomes and fading Russ, maybe you go with Bucker, right? Um, so that's something that a lot of people don't know. Um, thought I'd bring that up. <clears throat> Broncos D, just okay with. Um, don't love it going up against Kansas City. The, they won't be owned. So if you want to take darts in large field tournaments, I don't mind that either. And then um, I believe Dolchich is out. So that's going to bring a pretty good value play in Troutman. Taking a look at his snaps, he basically played the entire game um, and was out there on 37 pass plays. So I think Troutman stands out as a pretty, pretty solid value to me. Um, like I said, Brandon Johnson, he's getting more snaps than Mims right now. So he would be the safer of the bunch. And he is also cheaper. I think he is a okay value play. I don't mind that. And then going down further, there's not much else. Let's go to the KC set of things. So I don't want to to explain to you guys that Patrick Mahomes is a phenomenal play. Um, you're going to have to pay a premium for him, but he's a phenomenal play. Same with Travis Kelsey. I'm, by, I'm pretty sure he's going to be playing. Um, he's questionable last week and played. Um, he's their clear go-to guy. Average targets for him. He's probably going to get like 8 to 10, 11 targets per game. Floor plus ceiling. He's targeted in the red zone a ton. He's a great play. <laughs> Um, as far as rest of Kansas City, uh, it's just an absolute crapshoot on the rest of Kansas City. So Pacheco going to be the running back that's going to get the most snaps. He'll kind of be in on that early down stuff. They are actually letting him get some targets as well, which they did not do last year. So that's going to add to his floor and ceiling as well. I don't mind him. He's kind of in a weird price range. I think I'd rather just spend up for you know, a Travis Kelsey or a Mahomes or go down to like a Jared Judy or a Sutton. So he's kind of in a weird price range for me. Rasheed Rice is just way overpriced. And I don't understand that price point at all. Um, only played 20 snaps uh, on 66 plays last week. Not sure why he's that price point. So no on Rice for me personally. I think I'd rather target these cheaper wide receivers that we'll get to in a sec. I think Chiefs D is okay. I think they'll just be way, way, way over-owned. So I'm um, probably not going to go there in tournaments. They're also almost $6,000. So I think Chiefs D is kind of a fish play, if you ask me. Let's get into the uh, rest of the wide receivers for Kansas City. So you saw Kadarius Tony get up to 25 of the 66 snaps. You saw Sky Moore play about half the game. You saw Justin Watson play about half the game. So personally for me, I'd rather target these cheaper guys than Rasheed Rice, than a Sky Moore. I'd rather go to like Kadarius Tony, Justin Watson. Um, how much did Ross play? Ross only played six, so hard to go there. So 
Canarius Tony, obviously we know he's extremely talented, and we know when he's on the field, he is going to be targeted a ton. His target percentage when snaps played is the highest on the team, I believe, outside of Kelsey, and it's not close. So Canarius Tony is definitely my favorite cheap Kansas City wide receiver on this team. Um, and then I think my favorite, second favorite, would be um, Watson. Um, he played 29 of the 66 snaps. They're going to target him downfield. So the ceiling is definitely, definitely there as well. So I like Watson as a value. I like Kadarius Tony as a value. MVS is fine. He's just complete dust at this point in his career, but the price is only 3,400 and he's going to be on the field the most out of the wide receivers. So I do have interest in MVS. Just the floor is low. He still does have a ceiling though. And then you have CEH, who I think is a fine value. Um, they are projected to play from ahead, so he's probably going to get a some work. I don't know, like maybe like four or five carries, maybe um, potentially more. I, I don't really know. Um, as long as Kansas City is ahead, I think it's viable. And then Ross didn't really play much. And then um, where's No Gray? Um, no Gray at that price point with Kelsey playing. Um, can't go there. But if Kelsey for some reason is out then I'm a huge fan of No Gray at, um, where is he, 4.4K. So I think that's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.